Um, we have two pending cases versus Arkell, Don versus St. Thomas Aquinas College. I'm honored in this time to give up to you, the class of 2027. Seventy years ago, the Dominican sisters saw a need to build an institute of higher learning to prepare our sisters to enter the field of education. The college was dedicated to St. Thomas Aquinas, a Dominican scholar and theologian. In 1967, the college had become co-educational with the addition of young men and women who are new energy and perspective to the campus. You, the class of 2027, now carry on that tradition as you bring the energy and perspectives of your generation to the campus. As you pass by the convent driveway, you see a sign, Dominican Sisters, women make a difference. For us as sisters, that means we ground ourselves in the four pillars of the Dominican Order. Prayer, study, community, and mission, which support us as we speak truth, truth to address the issues of our time. As students at STEM, you too are on the path to truth as you begin to live the college of our to enlighten the mind through truth. We, the Dominican Sisters of Sparta, are committed to accompanying you as you begin your journey. In any way we can, we pledge our prayers for your success. We hope that today you will be the first of many opportunities that the sisters and you will have to connect during your college career. May God bless you. Go Sparta. So thank you to Anna. By my count, that's the fifth national anthem Anna Boyd has sung for us. Uh, so she's uh, always, always does a great job. And thank you, Sister Marie, for that warm welcome. Today, we gather to allow our new Spartans to hear some greetings and advice from a range of members of the college community, voices representing the origins of the college, voices from students current and past, voices of the faculty and staff who will play a significant role in their lives over the next four years. Before we have our president speak, I want to introduce you to a member of our audience who is an outgoing member of the Board of Trustees. Uh, also, she is someone who's on campus quite a lot, Sister Peggy Serrano. You will also see her, she'll be uh, stopping by every section of Stack 101, so you'll see Sister Peggy uh, throughout the semester. We have other members of the Board of Trustees here today, and you'll hear, we'll introduce them as they speak or as uh, they're presented. Now, I would like to introduce the President of St. Thomas Aquinas College, Mr. Kenneth Dale. Thank you, Bob, and uh, good afternoon. What an honor it is to be here. As I always say, every day you should stop with a prayer and the national anthem. God bless our founding Dominican sisters, and God bless America. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, really an honor to be here again to welcome uh, all of our new students, our freshmen who are in the class of 2027. Uh, my message today is going to be very simple, and it's the same message that you want to hear from our faculty, our distinguished faculty, right here in the front. The same message you'll hear from our staff, from our alumni, and of course, your fellow students. And that is, we are here to support you. We have our board chair, Don Diagamo, my wife, our first lady, Lori, everyone here today, we're here to help make you successful. Having said that, you're now gonna get the president's speech. Mom and dad are home, no one's here to wake you up. You have to help yourself. It's up to you. You have to make good decisions, and you're already making good decisions. Last year, you made the decision to attend college. You chose a wonderful college, a special place like St. Thomas Aquinas. A few years from now, you're making a decision when you graduate, not if you graduate, when you graduate, where to go to work, or whether or not to go to grad school. But today, you need to make 
the most important decision of your life. You need to make it right here and now. And that decision is how you want to show up while you're in college. Are you going to lean in? Are you going to become part of our community? Are you going to give up yourself? Are you going to join clubs? Do you do your homework on time? Are you going to raise your hand? Are you going to be a responsible member of our community? I like to say there's three types of people. Those who make it happen, those who let it happen, and sadly, sadly, after four years when they don't graduate, the student conducts says, President Daly, what happened? What happened? I know you're the type to make it happen. So how do you make it happen? If you forget everything I said today, I want you to remember one number, the number 30, the number 30. 30 hours per week of study on your own. When you were in high school, you actually attended class about 30 hours a week, five days, uh, five days six hours per day. And hopefully you get a couple hours of homework each night, let's say 15 hours per week. In college, the formula is the same, but the equation is inverted. You only attend class 15 hours a week, but the material is harder, the assignments are more challenging, the, professor, the professors will give you team projects and midterms. You need to dedicate 30 hours a week to your studies. And you might say that's a lot if you're an athlete or if you're a member of student government or a club, and you're right, it is. But it's actually no more of a commitment than the commitment you made in high school. The difference now is the bulk of the commitment has to happen on your own time. Track the 30 hours, write it in your book, put it in your organizer. If you do the 30 hours, I promise you, you will see the A's. 20 hours is not bad, 20 hours is a good start. That sounds more like B's to me. 10 hours, that's C's, I don't think any of us have that as a goal. And anything less than that, to be quite honest, you're in the wrong place. Shoot for the stars, shoot for the highest. Last year I ended my remarks with a quote from one of the world's most famous investors, Warren Buffett, who said, the best investment is an investment in making yourself. The invest those 30 hours. This year, I'd like to end with a quote from a different Buffett, Jimmy Buffett, who sadly died last week after a wonderful life as a musician. And he said, some people make the world go round, while others just watch it go round and round and round. Class of 2027, all of our new students, we're here to help you. Please make the world go round. Congratulations and welcome to St. Thomas Aquinas. shaping your education and your lives here. First, the great faculty of this institution. So I now ask members of the college faculty to stand and be recognized for the amazing work they do every single day. <laughs> and now, for after a greeting on their behalf, it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Megan Lee Hall, Professor of Economics and Chair of the Faculty Center. Dr. Lee Hall. Welcome and congratulations. You are about to begin on a journey that started in Greece over 2,000 years ago. A path through the liberal arts to your future as an educated and well-rounded thinker. The tradition of the liberal arts was started by other great thinkers, such as Pythagoras and Socrates, to ensure a society well-versed in, in the four scientific arts of music, arithmetic, geometry, and astronomy, and the three arts of the humanities, grammar, logic, and rhetoric. This means that while you will be learning plenty of content about your program of study, your classes will also be preparing you to read, write, and think critically about the world, and provide the tools to help solve complex problems that we face as a society. While you may not have even heard the, the term liberal arts before, it has provided the foundation for success for many people you have heard of. Oprah Winfrey has a degree in communication arts. Michael Jordan studied cultural geography. 
Tiger Woods, who majored in economics, and Michael Eisner, the former CEO of Disney, has a degree in English literature and theater from Denison University, from where our own Dr. Wagner received his degree, no less. Even our own provost and president both were English majors as undergraduates. With the rise of artificial intelligence and tools like ChatGPT, critical thinking skills are what will allow us to rise above the machines. As U.S. Representative Will Hurd said in a 2020 TED Talk, philosophy and ethics are more important than ever as we learn to use this emerging and powerful technology to discover new medical treatments or to invent sustainable building practices or even to make our day-to-day -day lives just a little bit easier. The pieces you gather over the next four years, the expertise in your major, the leadership you learn in the business club, the friends you make on the tennis team, the fear you overcome performing with the Latari players, will all build the mosaic that is your experience here at staff. On behalf of the faculty, let me assure you that we will be with you every step of the way and look forward to seeing the beautiful designs that you create. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. As hard as it is to imagine, the next time we will be sitting together in a formal way will be four years from now when you graduate. Like thousands of Spartan alumni before you, you will get your degree, you will move into your careers, you start the rest of your lives. Representing those thousands of alumni, it's my pleasure to introduce you to class of 2014, Garbetsi Nicholas. Garbetsi was a project manager, philanthropist, and author from Patient U. He moved to Brooklyn, New York in his teenage years. He's a Stack alumni and a member of the Stack Hall of Fame class of 2020. After obtaining his degree in international business, Garbetsi worked for leading financial institutions like J.P. Morgan Chase and the Bank of America. Today, he serves as implementation project manager for PAVE, a leading tech startup. Garbetsi also founded Synergy Today Foundation, where he currently serves as CEO. This organization focuses on education development for kids in Brooklyn, Haiti, and Gabriel. As an author, Garbetsi speaks to marginalized voices like immigrants, Haitian-born natives, and African Americans. Please welcome. First, um, I would like to thank Dr. Murray, President Daly, and all the faculty members um, you see over here, and thank you all for all the hard work you guys are doing here at some time supplies. And thank you for having me today. Once again, I am Barbara Nicholas. During the last 10 years, I have been a student athlete, an alum, an alumni board member, and most importantly, a friend of this college. With great honor, I welcome you all, class of 2027, to St. Thomas Aquinas College. In the fall of 2010, I walked into the halls of, of St. Thomas Aquinas, very naive, with a small dose of diabetes. I was in the eye of being awarded a scholarship by the student athlete. I thought it shouldn't be any different than high school. I would be fine if I did just enough to pass my classes and do precisely what my coaches asked for, nothing more, nothing less. Like many of us, I was missing the actual point of college. It does not matter what you major in or what team you join. I believe college is about two things, discipline and people. You have four to five years to develop the habit it takes to truly commit to a goal. That is what discipline is. Being committed to something and pushing forward even when you don't feel like it. The art of learning how to commit to your goals and to yourself. It is okay if you're not sure about the major you pick. It is even okay if you don't know what you want to do after college. That is normal. But if you can train your mind and act on the necessary habits, to give your very best during these four years, there's nothing you cannot commit to after your time. Success is truly about habits and muscle memory. I'll summarize all this with one of my favorite quotes. We are, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. Discipline and people. Now let's just quickly talk about people. I walked into Stack like I said, in 2010 as an Asian immigrant. The school was not as diverse as it is today. As someone who went to high school in Brooklyn, that was something very new to me. 
The one thing that I did very early was talk to as many people as possible. Listen to many different point of views. Being open-minded, kind, welcoming, but also stay true to myself. From that, I graduated with best friends and an incredible network of different professionals. 13 years later, from the day I walked into STAT, one of my closest friends who graduated with me, uh, texted me a picture of his newly born daughter last year and said, you're now an uncle. These four years for all of our kids, we are building a family, a new family, and if done right, might even be closer to camp. Lastly, I would like to wish you all a great first year. I consider being uh, St. Thomas of Brian Salam as one of the greatest association. This is a very special place. With love, commitment, and excellence, you will discover this at all. And remember, you are what you repeatedly do, and don't be afraid to welcome new people into your life. Thank you. Thank you, Carmen. The second group here today who will help you shape your college experience are those hardworking people in every office of the college, and of course, they welcome you too. So I now ask the staff of St. Thomas Aquinas College to stand for our thanks and recognition. It is now my pleasure to introduce Ms. Raven Johnson, Assistant Athletic Director of Student Success, who will offer a welcome on behalf of the whole college staff. Raven. Thank you, Dr. Murray, and thank you to the founding members of our college community. On behalf of my colleagues, staff members who make up St. Thomas Aquinas College, I want to welcome the class of 2027 along with all of the transfers and newcomers to our campus community. I'm sure as we've gone through this first week on our campus, you've noticed many things. Perhaps it was the tent on the front lawn from Spartan Journey, or the various signs around campus letting you know where to go. Or maybe it was something else. But there is one thing I hope you noticed, and that is the people who make up our campus community. What I have noticed during my time here is that the people at St. Thomas Aquinas College truly make it a wonderful place. You see, St. Thomas Aquinas College attracts those with a passion for helping others, myself included. And that is what sets us apart from other institutions. During your journey here, you will find a staff members will support you, will walk alongside you as you navigate this year in the years ahead. Staff members will guide you. There are members of our community who have experienced the very same things that you were going through because a stack alumni, which many of them are, they've been in your shoes. Use their experiences to your advantage. You also find that our staff members will help you. As I mentioned earlier, our staff members want to help. That is our passion. Allow them to fulfill their passion and ask for help when you need it. We want to be partners with you as you successfully navigate your community experience. In closing, as you explore and ignite your passions during your time with us, remember that there is a community here ready and willing to assist you as you do so. Again, welcome to our community and those partners. Thank you, Raven. We couldn't have a ceremony like this and leave out a greeting from your current students, your Spartan colleagues. To offer that greeting, I would now like to introduce Daniel Kerr. Dan is a senior pursuing a degree in finance with a minor in accounting. He resides on campus and loves being involved in the stack community. Dan holds leadership positions in various clubs on campus, including as a resident assistant and an orientation leader. After graduation, Dan plans on getting a master's degree and obtaining his CPA license. Thank you, Dan, for coming today. Good afternoon. My name is Daniel Kern, and I'm honored to be able to welcome you to the staff family. Today is a very special day as it marks the start of your Spartan journey at St. Thomas Aquinas College. As I look at all of you, I must admit that I'm a bit envious. You're at the beginning of the most amazing journey and have in front of you so many wonderful things. Being a senior this year, I am sad to think that my time here has come to a close. 
I can honestly say that the past three years have been some of the best in my life, and that is 100% due to the fact that I chose St. Thomas and decided to be a Spartan. When I was asked to speak here today, I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to share about my journey and hopes that it will inspire you to embrace all that Stack has to offer. My experience has been everything I hoped it would be and more. I live on campus as a resident assistant, I am an orientation leader, I am the president of both the business club and the investment club, and I am the chief justice of the mental health club. I was a member of the Fed Challenge team last year and have enjoyed working as an event leader in student engagement. I was fortunate enough to have interned with Richard Savings Bank for all of last year, and this semester, I'm excited to begin an internship in the business office right here on campus. I have met so many people from all over, made great connections, and lifelong friends. Without the support of my peers, the staff, the faculty, and the administration, I would not have been able to accomplish any of this. The staff family is incredibly supportive. Everyone here is accepting and encourages you to be your best. They're always happy to help and they are genuinely pleased to see you achieve your goals. I have been blessed with wonderful mentors who have generously shared their time and talents. I have learned so much in my courses, not only about my major, but I've also learned about the person I want to be. The example that is said here is like no other. It is easy to rise to the challenges that are ahead when you know and feel support of everyone around you. Being at St. Thomas makes you want to be your best. You are going to find that being here is far more than just being a part of a college community. It is truly a family. A family that wants to see you succeed and realize your goals. A family that cares about your dreams and one that will motivate you to be your best self. I encourage each of you to challenge yourself, reach out, get involved, ask questions, make friends, be open to new ideas, and enjoy every bit of it. I look forward to seeing you around campus and hope that all of you are blessed with the same wonderful experience that I've had in my time here. Again, welcome to St. Thomas Aquinas College, and welcome to the family. Thank you, Dan. As provost, one of my jobs is to make sure you have the best possible experience in all your classes and all your academic activities. But our next speaker is responsible for all the rest of your time at the college. Here at St. Thomas Aquinas, we pride ourselves in the dynamic social experience for both residents, students, and commuters. And the Office of Student Development works to provide a supportive environment for everyone. And now, after the podium, our Vice President of Student Development and Dean of Students, Mr. Kevin Esmond. Good afternoon, can you hear me? Good afternoon, Spartan Nation, can you hear me? I know it's hot, but I need some Spartan vibes in here. Good afternoon, Spartan Nation, can you hear me? All right, you're doing well, you're making it happen. I, do I have any unstoppable Spartans in the house? Any service Spartans in the house? Any curious, I see you raise your hands, curious Spartans, let me see our curious Spartans, our observer Spartans. We have a whole range of Spartans here that have their Spartan spirit, and um, it is a distinct pleasure to be able to welcome you here today. So I'm here along with your faculty, along with my colleagues, um, to welcome you, and it's a distinct pleasure. I have the unique privilege of serving as your Vice President for Student Affairs. Many of my colleagues spoke to you today about the joys of being here, and I'm going to share a bit about that, but I'm also going to tell you about how you get through when it's not so joyful. St. Thomas Aquinas College believes that education has the power to liberate and transform and ignite your passions. And it will, I promise you, it will. But there are forces around us that some days will disturb that. Those forces will challenge your beliefs, they will challenge your character, they will even challenge your ability to be resilient and persist. One day, that best friend that wakes you up every morning for class won't. One day, that best friend that calls you will actually annoy you. One day, on the way to one of your many important jobs off campus, the bus or your car won't work, and you'll be angry beyond belief. Today was one of those days for me. Today, my daughter, my son began his first day at high school. Of course, I woke up, I hadn't filled the car with gas, so I was already late for my journey. My daughter, who I was accustomed to taking to one particular location, who's a high school student, was actually beginning her first college classes as a high school student. So yet again, I wasn't prepared. 
So I woke up ready for the day, ready for all that was ahead of me and realized I wasn't prepared. My, my spirit was tested. And so I did what I often do. I thought through, how am I going to show up? How am I going to act? And in the fit of rage with all the traffic, all the bridges that weren't working, I decided I would turn to a writer and author a theme song that I admire, that inspires me. The song begins, I'll share some of the words. She says, I'm looking for motivation. I'm looking for a new foundation. And I'm on that new vibration. I'm building my own. You know what? I'll ask Brad to play it. Maybe you've heard the song before. Anybody heard this song before? It's okay to rock out. The author is none other than Beyonce Knowles, and what she says in this song is that when bad things are happening, she won't allow another person to break her soul. She won't allow things to break her soul. At St. Thomas of Aquinas College, my team, the team in student affairs, the student development, we are your partners in ensuring that nothing breaks your soul. So today I want to tell you how we build your soul. So I like, let's keep the music going. I can talk with music. I like it. Let's keep it, let's keep it, let's keep it. So the ways in which we build your soul here are encouraging you to understand this campus is your campus, it's your home. It's not just your home Monday to Friday. It's your home in your community on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, weekend, summer. This is your place where you can build your soul. We encourage you to get involved in clubs and sports. If we don't have something here, this is your opportunity to create what you want here. We also invite you to think about all the services we have as your services. We have wellness services, mental health services. We have the best guiding services in the community. All of this is a part of what we invite you to take part of. Again, our team, the student development team, is here for the day when it feels like your soul is broken to remind you that it's not broken. There's a team that partners with you, that picks you up, that gets you to be the best self you're supposed to be. So on behalf of my colleagues, on behalf of the team, the president, and everyone here, I want to remind you that on the day when you feel that you're broken, your soul is not broken, you have partners here at St. Thomas Aquinas College. I'm so thrilled to be part of the team that will help ignite your passions, but will also help you become the best you you're meant to be. Again, thanks. So, you did it to me again. <laughs> it's hard enough to follow Kevin. It's impossible to follow the action. It's, just, it's, hard to it's hard to do. It's hard to do. And when they're together, it's hard to do. So, Sister Sue will be up in a minute to say a, a, a prayer. I thought she was getting up to dance. If you know somebody with Sister Sue, Beyonce is playing, and she's going to get up to dance. So, I get to speak to you now. Uh, once again, I'm, I'm Dr. Murray, and I'm the provost. I've been at the college for 25 years and provost since 2015. I just want to say a couple of things, and then I'm going to actually ask you to stand up. This is where I'm going to ask you to stand up. In a minute, not, not that long. So all stories begin somewhere. All stories start with words that announce that fact, like what's upon a time, a long, long time ago. As humans, we like to announce it when something important is happening, and we all love stories. Well, this event, this ceremony, and this sacred space is our collective way of announcing to the world that almost 300 new stories start this week. And on behalf of all faculty and the staff and the college administration, we could not be happier to be playing a role in your story. We know, because we hear it a lot, that college is a life-changing experience. There's ample evidence of that. Garvenci gave us some examples today. While it's hard to make guarantees about anything, I can make a promise to you. You will be different in four years, and this college and the people we met this past week will be a big part of that. But what I want to remind you today is that we also expect you to make some changes. Here is our mission statement, and it's very simple. St. Thomas Aquinas College seeks to challenge, guide, and energize each student to realize and create their own path to success and commit themselves to making a profound difference in the world. Now you might think, how can I make a profound difference in the world? You might think, well, that's unrealistic, since profound differences mean substantial global change. For example, Martin Luther King, he made a profound difference in the world. Albert Einstein made a profound difference in the world. But profound changes can be pretty small things too. Profound changes can be as local as in your neighborhood or even in your dorm. 
Remember, Rosa Parks made a profound change just by choosing where she wanted to sit on the city bus. So I believe that we have it in each of us to make a small act that might change the world profoundly, even if it means just changing the world from one person. In fact, I think all of us in this room this afternoon have the ability to make a profound difference, and so therefore I offer you this challenge to our newest students. During your time at the college, seek out ways to improve the lives of those around you. In fact, last year I announced the start of our Spartans in Service Initiative, and now it's your turn to play a part. And now I ask you to stand and say the Spartan Service Pledge. All new students and all current students, please stand. Gravity's tough, but it's not that hard. There we go. Very good. Please repeat this pledge. I pledge to use the various gifts I've been given to improve the lives of those around me and those far from me. I pledge to make a profound difference in the world. Thank you. You can see it. You see it. We're hoping to have comments. And some of you are really sorry. 34 of our new students have been identified as service partners in our new micro communities program, and many of you participated in service activities during Spartan Journey. Finally, like everyone here, I want to wish you all a great year. Please feel free to stop by my office, probably 105, to say hello, tell me how classes are going, what your club is up to, how your team is doing, how work is going, or if you commuted to campus like me, how the commute was that morning. Now, finally, I would like to introduce a good friend of mine, a good friend of the college, Sister Susan Dunn, to offer the benediction and bless the newest class of Spartans. Sister Susan. And I say this the first time I have heard Beyonce played in this chat. It's another, it's another lesson. I also pray for my children. I think it would be surprising for you. Part of the mission statement is that we endeavor to be a vibrant, inclusive, learning community, which is rooted in the tradition of study, reflection, and service. We are grateful, gracious and loving God, for each student and hope that they will stay open to the ways of learning and be challenged by the very dedicated faculty. May they be open to seek help when needed for their studies. May they be wise in the use of their time and develop their talents. May they surround themselves with positive people. Use the career center, faculty, office hours, and mentors in order to grow. May they find time for laughter and joy, find comfort when they are sorrow, courage as they discover their purpose in life, and continue as life will learn. <coughs> Committed to making a difference in the world. Can I have an amen from the church? <laughs> Thank you, sister. This concludes our new student application. I want to thank our speakers. I want to thank Anna Rhoda, our national anthem singer, and special thanks to Taffy Williams for providing us with beautiful organ music this afternoon. Let's give her a round of applause. And of course, thanks to the Sparkle Dominicans for hosting us at this beautiful chapel. This event is one of the bedrock traditions of your experience at St. Thomas Aquinas College, but we have one more tradition, and that is on our walk back to campus, we will process out, and the route we will take will allow us to walk past the founding sisters of the Dominican, Sparkle Dominican Convent, so we can see and meet the women who have the faith, lay the foundation on which we work and play every day. Students and guests, please wait until the stage party and then the faculty leave before joining the procession back to the Romano Center past the time. There's a reception for everyone, by the way. Anybody uh, could come to that reception immediately after uh, the, the, the 
and then maybe other things after. That's it for today. Thank you for sticking out the heat. Have a great year.